So what we're kept up at night about is not just what we've constructed, but also how do we curate an ecosystem and foster the development of an ecosystem where you have assurance baked into the application and that's somehow expressible to the user. So when you download your smart contract or you click your one-click install to use your Uniswap clone or whatever the hell it is that's deployed on Cardano, you have a little green check mark or something that indicates to you that somebody audited the code or followed a specification. What up guys, Nakamoto Crypto here. More than $30 billion worth of Cardano ADA have now been staked on the Cardano ecosystem. And this is huge as smart contracts are right around the corner from launching on this amazing ecosystem. Stay tuned, like and subscribe, let's get to it. So $31 billion worth of ADA is now staked ahead of the Alonzo smart contract launch. The entire cryptocurrency community has been anticipating for this launch of Alonzo since Cardano's announcement earlier this year. The long-awaited hard fork is drawing near with preliminary plans pointing to a launch sometimes in August of this year. According to Cardano Pool Tool, ADA holders have staked $31.7 billion of this, representing 71.29% of the total cryptocurrency supply. In addition to this, ADA staking addresses have surged over the past month alone since Cardano crossed the 600,000 addresses milestone earlier last month in June. Moreover, the pool tool currently shows that the total staked addresses have increased by more than 11% and this is roughly to 670,125 new addresses. In addition to this, the total staked addresses is split between 2,665 active stake pool operations. Ethereum on the other hand has only 6 million ETH tokens on the Ethereum 2.0 network. With the current Ethereum price being around $2,000, the staked ETH is worth $12.5 billion at the moment, a number which is way lower than the $31 billion of ADA being staked on the Cardano ecosystem. The launch of Ethereum 2.0 will advance the Ethereum network and upgrade it from a proof of work system to a proof of stake mechanism consensus model. Upon this launch of Ethereum 2.0, the Ethereum network will see an increase in its speed and at the same time hopefully see a reduction in its gas fees. A survey report reveals that these gas fees are Ethereum's biggest challenge at the moment as 45% of the platforms that are currently built on Ethereum have scalability issues because of these gas fees. So while Ethereum seeks to move to the proof of stake model, Cardano on the other hand is already building on this model and possesses a way more solid technical foundation than Ethereum at the moment. Also, Cardano attends to a lot of these challenges Ethereum is facing relating to scalability and transaction processing. Additionally, Cardano seems to be competing with Ethereum with the building of its new ERC20 converter. As back in May, the commercial project manager at Cardano's parent company IOHK, Francisco Landino, stated in a press release that the ARC20 token converter was already ready for launch on the Cardano ecosystem. So Ethereum tokens will be able to soon migrate from Ethereum into Cardano easily. According to Landino, the converter will attract many Ethereum developers to join the Cardano network instead. And this is in the near future. The initial usage of the Cardano ERC20 token converter will be for Singularity Net and the converted token will be called AGIX. Users will need to log into their ERC20 converter account and select a token. Then they can indicate the amount that they wish to convert then easily convert it from the Ethereum platform to Cardano, migrating these tokens into their specific Cardano addresses. After this migration, users may use these tokens for payments and other transactions from the Daedalus wallet. Cardano is growing every single day and this is the power and network effect it has on everybody else. It is growing every single day more than 600,000 additional addresses since the launch of Shelly last year. 
The only way for Cardano was up. It went from 2 cents all the way up to $2.50 before retracement. Over 2000% increase if you held on to your Cardano ADA. And the journey is just beginning from here, as August, September and October will be huge for Cardano. We are still in those next 90 days, with the launch of Alonzo smart contracts coming in soon and after that the Gogan rollout will hit and the world will experience the power of network effect. What are your thoughts on $30 billion being staked and holding strong into the Cardano ecosystem? Let us know in the comment section below. Like the video, share, subscribe for some daily crypto content. I have been Mr. Nakamoto Crypto and I'm out. You have a little green check mark or something that indicates to you that somebody audited the code or followed a specification. The lack of that is problematic because then first there's impersonations, the whole MyEther wallet thing, or like your videos or my videos are the same. Every comment, there's a bot that says, hey, you know, give me some money or something like that. That kind of stuff happens. But then just protocol level flaws, like what happened with the DAO hack. That's what really keeps me up at night. How do you resolve that problem? Because I don't hire these people. I don't tell them what to do. I didn't tell them how to build things on the platform. They may have tons of experience and knowledge. They could be Simon Peyton Jones or they could have absolutely no knowledge whatsoever and they read one tutorial and they've written three lines of code in their entire life and they've deployed something horribly broken copy paste and suddenly it all goes to hell i'm judged by both that's what really keeps me up at night and we're as a company trying to figure out and as the ecosystem trying to figure out standards like at university of wyoming we're setting up um, the smart contract engineering institute we're negotiating with them right now and the goal there is just to create some you know standards for how to certify smart contracts and so that you can get that green check mark and know that it's it actually has some assurance level behind it but god that's a huge coordination problem and it's a huge information presentation problem and incentives problem and so forth and unfortunately people who value being first to market will kind of piss in the pool for everybody else